Hi folks, good morning. Tim here from High End Cheap Tech. And uh, today we're going to go over smartwatches. Now, at the beginning of the video, you saw about 10 seconds of a shot of my choice for a smartwatch. It's a model CW-530A. Now, if you're a watch kind of guy, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And you'll be like, well, that's not really a smart watch. It's like, it's a hell of a lot smarter than buying a watch called a smart watch. We'll get to that. Uh, as I'd like to also point out, you may hear some squeaking and squalling in the background, you know. Uh, it sounds like mice or squirrels, but it's not. It's uh, just outside the window here, outside the door on the back patio. We have uh, storage buildings behind the apartments, and there's birds' nests everywhere. And the little baby birds, the hatchlings, have come out, and they're all young for mom to bring food. You know, kind of like you guys want the latest tech. And uh, the birds want the latest worms. I think they're mostly robins. Can't tell when they're just squealing. They're not squealing right now, but... And generally when I crush it, I'll change the uh, bit rate on the audio, and it seems to cut most of that out. I'm not going to sit there and try to filter it, because it comes and it goes, and it comes and it goes. So, back to this smart watch. It's a very smart watch. And I decided, after owning it for years, Years. Mm -hmm. uh, it was time to replace the band. Uh, mostly because this is the half of the band I couldn't get off this morning. Word of warning. Don't go to bed at 3 in the morning and then get up and try to fix or at least remove your watch uh, band so you know how to do it. So when you get the new one, you just can screw it in. It has two screws, and sure enough, this band, which actually is still functional, I could probably with soak in a bunch of soap or whatever, and it'd be fine for another, I don't know, two, three, four years. I wore this watch for five and a half years without ever taking it off. Go to the shower, go to bed, doesn't matter. Constantly. Lost the owner's manual for it years and years ago. But you can go online and find the owner's manual for it. Uh, as far as charging goes, there are no cables. So, before we go any farther, I mean, take this with a grain of salt. There's a little humor involved here. Uh, rather than my typical Sunday morning rant, we might have a Sunday afternoon rant. But, uh, you really don't need a smartwatch. And we're going to go into that later. This is a very smart watch. I will, if I can find the link on Amazon, since I have a, you know, an affiliate deal with them, uh, I'll give you the link to this particular watch. It's a fantastic watch. It, it tells time. It sets itself automatically to the Rocky Flats nuclear facility, which is the world's timekeeper. It's an atomic clock. It's accurated to within like one millisecond every 10,000 years or some crap like that. So it's always accurate. Versus, you know, having to pull your phone out. We'll get to that in a bit. In the meantime, let's go to the intro. The lighting will change because we're still charging the phone up. Huh? Charging it up? Yeah, it's outside. Yeah, charging. No cables needed. Be back shortly. All right, folks, I'm back. So we're going to talk about that smartwatch. This is the uh, Casio CW530A. It's 
good to 20 bar as far as uh, water resistance or on the front it's a little more explicit you know 20 uh, or 200 meters if you're diving that deep you probably drown and you really don't care if your watch works so it's quite waterproof I washed it before and I'm not a big fan of putting electronics in the wash although I wore this thing for five and a half years after my dad gave it to me and he long ago lost the owner's manual so you know I don't know exactly how all the buttons work I had to look them up online and I think I saved the PDF to his old PC and I'd have to look it up again ah uh, is it smarter than a smartwatch? Well, you be the judge. That's a dinky ass one inch screen or thereabouts. And you paid a gazillion dollars for one of these damn things, didn't you? And this is just strictly for looks, but it's called a cell phone. Why are you so lazy that you can't put it in your pocket? And pull it out. Oh no, I want to be Dick Tracy. And most of you kids out there don't know who Dick Tracy is. If you do, give us a thumbs up and mention it. Now, uh, you can still buy a phone very similar to it on Amazon. I said I would try to find a link. Uh, they haven't probably sold this. And, and this thing is over 10 years old and still works. Yeah, let's go over some of the features on it, though. It, they're going to be very similar, this one versus this one, and this one will show up a lot better back here. So, let's do that. All right. Yeah. That little upper part there? Right up here? Yeah. That's where it charges. And then here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We, uh, Jesus. I hate when I do stupid uh, uh, No, I really hate when I do stupid stuff like that, but here. Uh, that's your battery, low, medium, and high. Mine currently is on uh, medium. A little bit different layout. Other than that, this tells us up here, we're getting near the end of the hour. That's how much the hour has been expended. I, I think they just like having a lot of, you know, graphics on their phones. Uh, very cool. So, you can get one of these for 79 bucks on Amazon. Or, if you're like, a, you know, you're working in a law office or something, and you know, things like that. Yeah. You might want one that looks like this. The stainless version. The layout's a little different. But same deal. Nine months. You can throw this thing in a drawer. Or like I did, I threw it in the drawer. When the band broke. Yeah. This deal here doesn't work well anymore and uh well, that won't happen to this one but nine months and uh it'll still have a charge on it as long as you start with a full charge uh it gives you everything you need folks you have the day the date all that good stuff and up here you notice where it says auto A-U-T-O. That means if you take your watch, and mine says the same thing. Just a little harder to see and focus on. But if you hold the uh, G-Shock button down here, there'll be a little blip. Probably didn't hear that. But now, anytime it's dark out and you do this, the screen will light up. 
It'll lose a little extra battery. You probably don't want to do that during the day, but it's easy enough. You hold the button again. It's off. See? No more auto. On the old gas ale. So, is this a smarter watch than a smart watch? Hell yeah. You don't need a smart watch, folks. Here's your damn phone. You spent hundreds of dollars on it. Just don't leave it lay around and lose track of it. Why would you do that? That's how crap gets stolen. Um, so, check the links in the description below if you're interested. Now, I'm sure there's going to be some watch guys out there come in and go, oh, this isn't the best watch out there. I, I never said it was. I just said, I like it. It's my choice for a watch. It's not a review. I guess you call it like a tenure review. Since my dad used it for a while, he just didn't like it because it's so darn thick. But I like the fact that you don't have to plug it in, you don't have to worry about the battery, and it, it updates itself as far as time goes every evening. You'll see a little satellite thing up here down there in the corner. That's all there is to it. Um, one last question for anyone who is a watch nut. Um, one of the links on Amazon to the original says the band is 16 millimeters wide. I'm guessing this is the hole up here. Just a guess. I don't know. Yeah, ignore the filth, folks. That's him. You know, sweat and soap and dirt from 10 years. I'm not going to clean it because I'm not going to use it again. And then the other link I found was for a band that was like $4 cheaper. Claimed to work on the same one, but it said it was 14 millimeters. Anyone know on the Casio CW530 or the 530A, I think, I, I don't know what the 530A means. Maybe they did something with it, you know, minor. I'm guessing they didn't change this or this. And, that, you know, this piece, you know, just comes up here and hooks in. But if you don't have it right, I don't want to order a band, get all excited. I'm going to get my smartwatch back. My watch that's smart for owning it. <laughs> So I've poked around. But if you know, leave us a comment. Give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you like this stuff. Might be back later today with a rant. That's gonna take a while to compress and edit. Mm, yeah, the usual. So, see you in the next one. Later, bye.